are going to be bypassed. We're going to be going and going to the higher columns where we haven't actually hit those points of operation. So we may find that it runs too rich, it runs too lean, or it has too much spark or not enough spark timing. So we're going to find out. So let's go here, F F9. Let's start our log, put it into gear. And let's see what power or what kind of boost we build. The power we build now with 40% duty cycle as our starting point. take it out of gear. Let's hit F10. Let's take a look at this. Now looking up at the dyno screen, we made 392 and we made 251. So if we go into our comparison mode here, we can see the dotted line was our previous pool from the last session when we did our just our high cam off the wastegate spring. And now we can find that the new pool here is almost 400 horsepower. Let's see what boost it went to. If we kind of pan back through our log, it looks like it crept up here at about 12.2. And looking at our fuel, if we're in our fuel tuning here, let's take a look at our fuel. 11.6, 11.1, 11.5, 11.8, 11.4, 11, 11.7. Our fuel's pretty good. It's going kind to of fluctuate run to run. It is an open loop. That's okay. It's pretty consistent looking at our blue line here. I have a pretty flat trace. Let's jump into our spark timing and take a look. We see we have no knock count if we pan through. Our ignition timing here at 12 pounds is 14 degrees timing. That should be okay. But what I'm going to do here before I move on to my next highest point, I'm going to jump into my two columns here. I'm just going to go in and bump in two degrees of timing. Let's see if we gain any more now at a little bit higher point of operation. So we know our fuel's nailed down. We don't have to change anything. Let's go here. Let's go and close this out. Let's hit F10. And let's do a Control U and upload that. Give it a second here. Let it upload. All right. And let's go here and put it into gear. F9, let's start our log and let's see what it's going to do here. A little bit more timing. All right, F10, let's stop. Let's right, take a look at the dyno screen. And we made 410 horsepower now and 256 torque. So we can see, if we're looking here, let's go and pan into our comparison window. Uh, we can see here, let's go to our plot three, which is our last.